Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Molly Quinn Leach, a library assistant whose specialist subject is film adaptations of Shakespeare's tragedies. Anna Milford Goldstein, a gardener. She'll be answering questions on the Great Fire of London. Zahir Kazi, a customer service executive. His subject is the career of the footballer John Barnes. And Vori Blount, a law student whose subject is the Lord of the Rings novels by J.R.R. R. Tolkien. A place is up for grabs in the semi-finals and maybe after that, a seat in the grand final. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The ticking clock, the spotlight and the unforgiving mastermind black chair could be influential. So who will best cope under the pressure, navigating two minutes on their specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge? Let's find out and ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name? Molly Quinn Leach. Your occupation? Library assistant. And your specialist subject? Film adaptations of Shakespeare tragedies. The classic plays on the big screen. In two minutes, let's go. What description of Romeo and Juliet from the play's prologue appears on screen behind the newsreader in the opening and closing scenes of Baz Luhrmann's 1996 adaptation of the play? Two hours. No, star-crossed lovers. In the 2000 version of Hamlet, what bath toy does Ophelia place on the top of the pile of letters she takes from a box when she's sent to spy on Hamlet in his apartment? Rubber duck. Yes, in Orson Welles' 1948 version of Macbeth, which character speaks the line, by the clock, tis day, and yet dark night strangles the travelling lamp, even though the words are spoken by the nobleman, Ross, in the original text? The holy... Father. No, Lady Macduff. What three-letter abbreviation appears on the yellow and grey shoulder flash worn by Ray Fiennes' Coriolanus on his military uniform? SPQ. No, RSF. In the 1953 version of Julius Caesar, which character carries the body of Caesar from the capital? Antony. More? Uh, Mark Antony. Yes, Lawrence Fishburne's title character in the 1995 version of Othello has an ornate tattoo at the base of his left thumb. In what shape? Uh, a C? No, it's a cross. In the 1999 film Titus, directed by Julie Taymor, while Tamora's lover Aaron is playing pool, her son Demetrius is playing a video game called Radical What? Archer? No, bikers in Franco Zeffirelli's Romeo and Juliet. What's the name of the character who sings What is a Youth to the tune of the love theme of the film? Uh, Titus. No, Leonardo. In the 1972 film Antony and Cleopatra, a messenger tells Cleopatra that Antony's wife, Octavia, has what colour hair before he's discreetly corrected by Charmian? Auburn? No, blonde, although she doesn't feature in the play, which character, played by Judi Dench, appears in a cutaway sequence in the 1996 film Hamlet? Hecuba. Yes, in the 1971 Peter Brook adaptation of King Lear, when Edgar, the son and heir of the powerful Duke of Gloucester, decides to disguise himself as a beggar, what does he pick up and throw as he declares, Edgar, I nothing am? A rock. No, it's a snowball. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem at all, Molly. That chair can get to all of us. And you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got three points. And our next contender, please. Your name. Anna Milford Goldstein. Your occupation? Gardener. And your specialist subject? The Great Fire of London. The fire that burned from the 2nd to the 6th of September 1666 and destroyed more than 13,000 houses, over 80 churches and St Paul's Cathedral in two minutes. Starting now, what was the name of the baker whose premises in Pudding Lane caught fire in the early hours of Sunday, 2nd of September, 1666? Thomas Farriner. Yes, among the first buildings to be destroyed by the fire was St Margaret's Church on Fish Street Hill and which church at the north end of London Bridge? St Magnus the Martyr. Yes, on the second day of the fire, pupils from which school were marched into the city where they fought to save the church at St Dunstan in the east? Westminster School. Yes, which diarist wrote that? On the 4th of September, the fire at St Paul's Cathedral caused its stones to fly like grenades. Peeps. No, John Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn. 
Work began on the demolition of a set of lodgings built for Sir John Denham in which complex of buildings to create a firebreak to protect the Palace of Whitehall. So in which building? I'll ask the question again. Work began on the demolition of a set of lodgings built for Sir John Denham in which complex of buildings to create a firebreak to protect the Palace of Whitehall? The Royal Mews? No, Great Scotland Yard. Which burnt-out building's glowing stone structure was described by Thomas Vincent as looking as if it had been a palace of gold or a great building of burnished brass? Guildhall? Yes, yeah, Samuel Pepys wrote in his diary of the saddest sight of desolation that I ever saw after viewing the destruction caused by the fire from a high vantage point in which church? All Hallows Barking? Yes, All Hallows by the Tower. One of the six recorded fatalities of the fire was which elderly deaf watchmaker who refused to leave his home on Shoe Lane? Oh, Sowell, Stowell? No, Paul Lowell. Lowell. Robert Hubert, who confessed to starting the fire and was hanged, claimed initially that he was a member of a gang of 24 arsonists who'd sailed to London on which Swedish ship? Mm. The Pelican. No, the skipper. While Christopher Wren was laying out the site of the new St. Paul's Cathedral in the 1670s, a labourer... I've started so I'll finish. A labourer brought him a fragment from a gravestone containing what single Latin word, meaning, I will rise again. Resurgam. Which, which he later had carved so on the south transept. Yes, it is. Resurgam. And Anna, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got six points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. Your name? Zahir Kazi. Your occupation? Customer service executive. And your specialist subject? The career of John Barnes. Yeah, the talented winger who played 79 times for England before becoming a manager and football pundit. In two minutes, Starting now, John Barnes first made his name playing for Watford under which manager who said of him, I think we may have unearthed a duel? Graham Taylor. Yes, Watford signed Barnes as a teenager from which Middlesex League club in return for the slightly unusual transfer fee of a set of kit? Sudbury Court. Yes, in which stadium did Barnes score his first England goal after a memorable mazy dribble through the home side's defence in a friendly against Brazil in 1984? Maricanar. Yes. What was the name of Barnes's agent who offered him to big Italian clubs before his eventual transfer to Liverpool? Still. Yes, Atul Still. In May 1990, in the last match of Liverpool's title-winning season, Barnes scored a hat-trick against which team, taking his tally that season to 28 goals in all competitions? Coventry City. Yes, in the 1990 World Cup, Barnes appeared to have put England ahead with a volley in a match against which country, only for the goal to be controversially disallowed for offside? Belgium. Yes, in October 1994, Barnes scored a spectacular overhead kick for Liverpool against which team, although Liverpool would eventually lose the match 3-2. Blackburn Rovers? Yes. What was the title of Liverpool's 1988 FA Cup final song to which Barnes contributed vocals, including When I Do My Thing, The Crowd Go Bananas? The Anfield Rap. Yes. Before signing for Newcastle on a free transfer in 1997, Barnes had agreed to join which London club but changed his mind after speaking to Kenny Dalgleish? West Ham. Yes. The final match of Barnes's professional playing career was in 1999 for Charlton Athletic against which team whose 1-0 victory guaranteed Charlton's relegation from the Premier League? Sheffield Wednesday. Yes, when Barnes started for Newcastle United against Barcelona in 1997. It was his first appearance in which competition? The European Champions League. Yes, after Barnes was appointed head coach of Celtic in 1999. Which side did they beat 5-0 on the opening day of the season? Aberdeen. Yes, Barnes's 79th and last appearance for England was as a substitute in a goalless friendly at Wembley in 1995 against which country? Colombia. Yes, when Barnes took over as the manager of Tranmere Rovers in June 2009, which of his former Liverpool teammates was appointed as assistant manager? Jason McAteer. It was Jason McAteer. Zahir, you had no passes and you got them all right. 14 points. Thank you, Clive. And our final contender, please. Your name? Forry Blount. Your occupation? 
law student. And your specialist subject. The Lord of the Rings novels by J.R.R. Tolkien. The epic fantasy novel initially published in three parts as The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. In two minutes, starting now. In the opening chapter of The Lord of the Rings, Bilbo Baggins throws a joint birthday party for himself and his adopted heir Frodo, at which he'll be 11 to 1 and Frodo will be how old? 33. Yes, when Farmer Maggot takes Frodo and his friends to Bucklebury Ferry, they mistake which hobbit for one of the sinister black riders? Mary. Yes, Mary Brandybuck. What name does Eowyn assume when she disguises herself as a man in order to ride into battle with the Rohirrim? Dernhelm. Yes, what's the name of the elvish waybread given to Frodo and his companions before leaving Lothlorien, which the elves tell them is more strengthening than any food made by men? Lembas. Yes, Mount Doom, the scene of the forging and destruction of the ruling ring, was originally given what name, meaning mountain of blazing fire by the elves? Oridruin. Yes, which warrior is the leader of a group of orcs called the Fighting Urukai, who sees Merry and Pippin in order to take them to Saruman? Uglug. Yes, pirates from which region of Middle-earth joined Sauron's forces in a fleet of ships with many oars and with black sails bellying in the breeze? Umbar. Yes. Treebeard and his fellow Ents invade the evil Saruman's fortress in Isengard, along with which other race described as Ents that have become almost like trees? Hearns. Yes. A mysterious figure called Tom Bombadil rescues Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin from the clutches of a malevolent weeping willow on the banks of what river? The Withywindle. Yes. What was the name of the great beech forest in which Beren first saw the elven princess Luthien singing and dancing in a glade beside the enchanted river Esgalduin, initiating a love match between a mortal man and an elf? Undomniel. No, Nell Doroth, in which part of the river Arduin did Smeagol, later called Gollum, strangle his friend Deagol for the ring that he'd found while they were fishing? Gladdenfield? Yes. Celeborn and Galadriel, the lord and lady of Lothlorien, that is our finish, lived in what species of tree with a silver grey bark and golden yellow blossom? A Malorn. It is Malorn. And worry, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 11 points. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with three points, it's Molly. In third place with six points, it's Anna. In second place with 11 points, it's Vori. And in first place with 14 points, it's Zahir. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Molly to join us again, please. Molly, you start with three points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now, the mature, dominant males of which primates are known as silverbacks? Gorillas. Yes. In what 1970s and 80s American television series set in rural Virginia during the Depression does Richard Thomas play an aspiring writer called John Boy? Fraser. No, the Waltons. What trousers, once traditionally worn by golfers, have a name that refers to the number of inches of material added at the knee to increase freedom of movement? Chinos? No, plus fours. The flag of the United Kingdom incorporates three crosses representing St. George, St. Patrick, and which other saint? St. Andrew. Yes. What name is given to the science and study of earthquakes and their causes and effects? Seismology. Yes. The 2004 book, So Me and the Life and Loves of a He-Devil, published in 2014, a memoirs by which Irish broadcaster and chat show host? Dara Brian. No, Graham Norton, Mulling Admiral, Glenn Ample, and Autumn Bliss, a varieties of which soft fruit? Apple. No, Raspberry. What term for a meeting or conference to discuss a particular subject is derived from a Greek word meaning drinking together? Com conference. No, symposium. In the UK, what imperial unit of volume is roughly equivalent to 4.55 litres? A gallon? Yes, Ingrid Bergman won her first Best Actress Oscar for her performance as Paula Alkvist in what 1944 film? Casablanca? No, Gaslight. In 2012, which cyclist became the first British rider to win the Tour de France? Bradley Biggins. Yes, the Religious Society of Friends, founded as a Christian movement in England by George Fox in the mid-17th century, became better known by what name? 
Salvation Army. No, the Quakers, two become one, too much, and the double A side Mama and Who Do You Think You Are were among the many UK number one singles in the 1990s by which British group? Spice Girls. Yes, in September 2021, which former education secretary was appointed Secretary of State for Leveling Up, Housing and Communities? Michael Gove. Yes, in Greek mythology, Thetis attempted to make her son Achilles immortal by holding him by the heel and dipping him in what river? Silas? No, the river Styx. In his 1945 essay, You and the Atomic Bomb, which British author is credited with first using the term Cold War to mean the state of hostility between Eastern and Western powers after the Second World War? H.G. Wells. No, George Orwell. Which Finnish composer wrote the 1899 nationalistic orchestral piece commonly known as Finlandia? Grieg. No, Sibelius. And Molly, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. <laughs> Next up, it's Anna. Anna, you start with six points. The score to beat, as it stands, is 14 points. And you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now, what word for someone employed to look after cattle in the American West is also an informal term for a dishonest or unscrupulous trader? Cowboy. Yes. Which Liverpudlian singer who died in 2015 hosted the television dating show Blind Date from 1985 to 2003? Black? Yes, which American poet wrote the 1845 poem The Raven, in which the narrator is haunted by a bird that repeatedly says, nevermore? Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, the idiom, the sound of leather on willow, is a reference to which sport? Cricket. Yes, what name is shared by the first nuclear-powered submarine commissioned by the US Navy and the fictional vessel in the Jules Verne novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Nautilus. Yes. What song, popularised by the American country singer Kenny Rogers, features the lyrics, you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them? Well, hallelujah chorus. No, Roger. The Gambler. The Holland Tunnel, opened in 1927, links Jersey City in New Jersey to which borough of New York City? Manhattan. Yes. When it occurs in dogs, what virus is sometimes called hard pad disease? The stemper. Yes, Ken Andy Stemper, what affectionate nickname for England used by British troops serving overseas during the First World War is derived from an Urdu or Hindi word for foreign? Blighty? Yes, the Nobel Prize winning scientist born Maria Skwadowska in 1867 is better known by what married name? Marie Curie. Yes, in the 2012 film Hyde Park on Hudson, Bill Murray portrays which US president? Truman. No, Franklin D. Roosevelt. In musical direction, what word the Italian for detached is an instruction to play each note disconnected from the next? Pizzicato. No, staccato. The Ooh. dress fabric Shantung, named after the province in China where it was originally made, is traditionally spun from what fibre? Silk. Yes, Robert Gascoigne Cecil, who was the UK Prime Minister at the start of the 20th century, held the title Third Marquis of where? Salisbury. Yes, what Latin phrase translates as, in wine, the truth, and is used to suggest that people are more likely to say what they really feel under the influence of alcohol? In vino veritas. Yes, according to the opening line of The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot, which is the cruelest month? April. Yes, the socialites Richard Nash, who died in 1761, and George Brian Brummel, who died in 1840, are both commonly known by what nickname? Bo Brummel. It is. Bo. Bo. And Anna, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 20 points. Thank you. Next up is Vori. Vori, you start with 11 points. The score to beat as it stands is 20 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The word Dane refers to a native or inhabitant of which European country? Denmark. Yes, from 1994 to 2004, which actor played Joey Tribbiani in the sitcom Friends? Matt LeBlanc. Yes, in what 1786 comic opera by Mozart is the title character a valet to Count Almaviva? 
Madam Butterfly. No, The Marriage of Figaro. The Venus Rosewater Dish is awarded to the winner of the Ladies' Singles Competition at which Grand Slam tennis tournament? Wimbledon. Yes. Which heroic character created by Jerry Siegel and Joel Schuster first appeared in print in 1938 in the first issue of the American publication Action Comics? G.I.J.? No, Superman. Neville Holder, who was the lead singer of the glam rock band Slade, is better known by what nickname? Slash? No, Noddy Holder. Which English town near Heathrow Airport added the suffix upon Thames to its name in 2012 in a bid to enhance its image? Kingston? No, Staines upon Thames. In the 1950s, the American civil rights leader born Malcolm Little replaced his surname with which letter of the alphabet? X. Yes, what word that can mean morally weak is also used in healthcare to describe the anatomical position of a person who is lying flat and face upwards? Prone? No, supine. The 2021 book The Man Who Died Twice is a crime novel by which television personality and author? Richard Osmond. Close. It's Osmond. What? 1998 comedy film starring Lindsay Lohan as identical twins who were separated at birth was the directorial debut of the American filmmaker Nancy Myers. Parent Trap. Yes, which major river flows through the Iron Gates Gorge on the border between Serbia and Romania? The Seine. No, the River Danube. The Rijksmuseum, which houses the Dutch National Art Collection, was opened in 1800 in The Hague, but moved eight years later to which other city? Amsterdam. Yes, which Soviet leader was buried in the same mausoleum as Lenin until his body was removed in 1961 and interred elsewhere? Stalin. Yes, what's the more common name of the pain-killing medication, acetyl salicylic acid, which was first synthesised in 1897 by the German chemist Felix Hoffmann? Aspirin? Yes, the A406 and the A205, two adjoining orbital roads around central London, are known respectively as the North and South what? Orbital. No, circular. Margaret Atwood's novel, The Handmaid's Tale, is set primarily in a dystopian republic known by what name? Gil Gallard. Ooh, almost, but not quite. Gilead. Gilead, It's yeah. Gilead, yes. And, Vori, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, You've got 19 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Zahir again. So, Zahir, you start with 14 points. The score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Anna's 20 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge, Starting now, fountain, ballpoint and rollerball are all types of what writing implement? Pen. Yes, in clothing, a long, loose sleeve with a wide hole for the arm is named after the wing of what mammal? Wallaby. No, Bat, in December 2021, which singer had her fourth UK number one album with a release entitled 30? Adele. Yes, Colchester native is a regional name for an edible species of what shellfish? Crab. No, Oyster, what's the name of the new one-woman bobsleigh event that was introduced at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing? The slalom. No, monobob. What's the name of the basic unit of currency of Singapore? Dollar. Yes, the main characters in which American television comedy series first shown in 2009 have the surnames Dumphy, Pritchett and Tucker. The Office. No, Modern Family. What hybrid plant of the genus Viola? Popular in borders because of its brightly coloured flowers has a name derived from a French word meaning thought. Petunia. No, pansy. The sculpture by Rodin, known in English as The Thinker, was originally intended to represent which Italian poet as part of a larger artwork entitled The Gates of Hell? Leachy. No, Dante. In film classification in the UK, the U certificate indicating a film that's suitable for all was introduced in 1913 with the letter U standing for what word? Universal. Yes. What's the name of the Prime Minister of Ireland from 1997 to 2008 who helped to negotiate the Good Friday Agreement and became his country's second longest serving Taoiseach? Martin. No, Bertie Ahern, the Mariana Trench, which contains the deepest known point on Earth at more than 35,000 feet below sea level, is in which ocean? Pacific. Yes, which novel by Thomas Hardy has the subtitle A Pure Woman Faithfully Presented? Hand of the Baskervilles. No, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. The 2021 UK hit album Outsider is the sixth full-length solo release by which member of the rock band Queen? 
Brian May? No, Roger Taylor, the historic area called The Lanes, known for its narrow streets with antique jewellery and clothing shops, is in which city on the south coast of England? London. No, Brighton, the name of the video game franchise Pokemon, is a contraction of Japanese words usually translated into English as what two-word term? Pass. The practice of recreating everyday sound effects for use in films and television programmes is commonly named after which American sound technician who invented many techniques for producing such sounds? Rossini. No, it was Jack Foley. So here you had just the one pass. The name of the video game franchise Pokemon, a contraction of Japanese words translated into English, Pocket Monsters. And at the end of that round, Zaheer, you've got 19 points. So let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 10 points, it's Molly. In joint second place with 19 points, Zahir and Vori. But in first place, one point ahead, on 20, it's Anna, which means she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. How do I feel sitting on the black chat once again? Amazing, it was 45 years ago, in the days of Magnus Magnuson that I appeared on um, Mastermind, and I came third. I hadn't really revised for exams for many, many years. I did an enormous amount of reading and note-taking, very little of which came up in the questioning. <laughs> and Anna, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got six points. But. Uh, the general knowledge just fell my way. Edgar Allan Poe. Yes. Manhattan? Yes. April? Yes. Did I think I was going to win? No, I didn't. All I think was, please, God, don't let me be last. What would I say to people at home watching it? Have a go. You never know where you'll finish up. And what I've always said to my children and to anybody who'll listen, it's not many people, you always regret far more what you don't do than what you do. But in first place, one point ahead, on 20, it's Anna, which means she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. Well, I'd better get back home and find some books and learn a whole lot more things. I'm not going to let it worry me too much. I'm so astonished to be in the semi-final. <laughs>